Now covering Clay County, safety in schools continues to be the topic. Tomorrow, Sheriff Daniels will continue his straight talk program at Oak Leaf High School. He'll be speaking with members of the Oak Leaf High School student body at 8 a.m. Tonight, the Clay County superintendent held a meeting at Fleming High to answer questions of concerned parents about safety. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenue was at that meeting. He's joining us live now with more of the details. So, Eric, was there one single topic that appeared to dominate the conversation? Yes, and that topic was funding. You have to remember, Clay County Schools only received $2.5 million uh, from the state, but that's hardly enough money to pay for resource officers to be placed in every school. Long before this meeting began with dozens of parents, Clay County School Superintendent Addison Davis made it clear that there needed to be a discussion with Clay County parents about school safety. It's a discussion that was the focus of our town hall meeting on the subject of safety in schools. I was able to sit on Channel 4 Generation Under Fire panel the other day, and, and when they initially asked a question, do you, at the beginning of the session, do our kids feel safe? And everyone, no, no one raised their hand. It really saddened me as a leader. Arming teachers to protect children from the type of mass shooting that killed 17 people in Parkland has been a controversial proposal that Superintendent Davis does not agree with. Ultimately, I, I would rather have law enforcement be the, the standing individual that is armed within our schools. At this stage, we shouldn't be talking about arming our teachers. But placing armed resource officers in every school is costly. Although Governor Rick Scott approved $400 million to pay for school safety, Clay County only received $2.5 million. Davis says the district needs at least $15 million. Parents attending the meeting say higher taxes may be the solution. I think that if we look at a $200 per home contribution to hardening our schools, I don't think that's an unsolvable problem. I think that that's a societal problem and people need to realize that the taxes that they pay go to things like making our schools safe. Higher taxes is probably an option. Um, I'm sure some are going to disagree with that. I don't know that I want to pay higher taxes, but I want my kids to be safe. So if that's what it comes to, then I'm willing to do it. Now, that last parent you just heard from even suggested having sheriff deputies park their cars in school parking lots while they write their daily reports. He says doing that would add enough presence or law enforcement presence to deter anyone with bad intentions from uh, causing harm to people inside the school. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, really stands out to hear parents, taxpayers saying, yeah, we're willing to pay higher taxes if it makes a difference. Let me ask about this. Did the superintendent bring up the use of metal detectors in schools? Yes, he did. However, he's not too keen on the idea of using metal detectors because he doesn't want to uh, incite fear amongst the students. Plus, he says he doesn't want it there to be a situation in which uh, the students will come to school feeling like they're dealing with TSA agents at an airport, you know, hogging up a lot of the time that would normally be used in class just to get from point A to point B, or shall I say inside of the school. So that's another issue that he brought up as well. Eric Avenue reporting live in Clay County tonight. Thank you.